In today's video, we are going to be talking about the cart icon, specifically when their cart is empty. If their cart is empty and you have the cart in the header, you'll see a little cart icon with a zero beside it. And you might not want this to display until they actually have something inside of their cart. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use just a little bit of CSS in order to make this happen. In a previous video, I've shown you how to do this using quite a bit of JavaScript, but with the new Fluid Engine update, they've made it super easy to do using just a few lines of CSS. If you're new here, my name is Rebecca, and on this channel, I provide tutorials to help you use code inside of Squarespace. So let's get started. So in order for this code to work, you need to be working inside of Fluid Engine in Squarespace 7.1. So in Squarespace 7.1, you'll notice your edit button is on the side and your mobile view switchers are up here. If you're in 7.0, there'll be a little drop down here and this code may not work in your case. It really depends on your template. Now in Fluid Engine, when I click to edit the page, you'll notice that it has an add block button on the side versus like an upgrade button. So if this is you, then you are working in Fluid Engine and this code will work. So the first thing you'll need to do is click to edit your site header. You'll want to select elements and make sure that the cart icon is turned on. You can also change the style um, from one of their icons here or the text, you can have it be a word instead of an icon. Okay, so choose the icon or text that you would like, and then click Done and Save. Now we're going to be doing this using CSS, so you're going to go to Design, Custom CSS, and we're going to type it inside this box. As always, we want to leave ourselves a note, so the very first thing I'm going to do is add a comment. So I'm going to put slash star hide cart when empty star slash and again that just makes a comment so that um, I know in the future what this code is for. The selector for the cart icon is a class name so we're going to use a period because it's a class and we're going to say cart dash quantity zero. Now this is a new selector that was added in Fluid Engine or the latest Squarespace update um, that's added when the cart is at zero, which is why we can do CSS instead of JavaScript like I had to use in a previous video. Then we're going to have an open and close curly bracket and the property we're looking at is display none. Now we also need to add an important tag in there in order to override Squarespace's settings. So now if I go to a shop page, and I go to one of the products, you'll notice the cart icon is hidden, but if I click add to cart, it pops up there to show that something has been added. If I then remove this item, it disappears again because I now have nothing in my cart. So now that you can hide the shopping cart icon when their cart is empty, you can use this video in order to make that icon more custom. So in that video, I go through how to customize the cart icon to any icon of your choosing using Canva.